Greetings and good evening. This is LL here and today we're going to be reviewing another CeFi investing platform. This one is called Huddlenaut and obviously I have reviewed quite many of these in the past. I'm going to be linking a couple of them in the corner of this video so you can basically compare them and find which one is best for you and your coins and your investment strategy. But let's get started with Huddlenaut. So we're going to be focusing on the web version of their service. They also have apps on Apple App Store and also on Google Play Store for those people who only use mobile phones or just prefer handling their finances on their mobile phones. Now, in terms of the coins that are being supported on their platform, currently they have six of them. We have Bitcoin, DAI, Ethereum, USDC, USDT, and also Wrapped Bitcoin for those who like interacting with Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, this is, uh, you know, basically the core coins that you see on most of the platforms. It's not exactly the most wide variety of options out there, but nonetheless, I think, you know, these are one of the most crucial ones that you basically would like to have in terms of lending and gaining interests on them. Now, in terms of some of their like uh, plans and, you know, rules in terms of deposits and everything. So first of all, there are no lock-in periods or minimum deposits. That's something that is pretty much case with all of the ones that I've reviewed in the past. They are paying on a weekly basis. So for example, if we look at like um, BlockFi or a couple of others, they pay you in a monthly basis. Some pay you daily and some pay you on a weekly basis. So there's a lot of different you know, options out there in terms of how often the payments are done and when the payments are done. The payments are always, uh, you know, dished out on Mondays. I think it was 8 p.m. EST or something like that. And you can deposit and withdraw any time. And also there is an optional Nexus Mutual custody cover, which is, I guess, a form of an insurance that you can basically get. I think Nexus Mutual is a DeFi service or something like that. And basically you can opt in for this in case you want to. I'm not super familiar with the product, so I can't really go, um, you know, talking about how good is it. Um, here is also some calculation, interest things, which we're going to be looking into a bit later on in this video. And 500 million assets are currently holded by Hotelnaut, and there's over 10,000 users right now and six different supported assets. I don't know if they have any plans to add more assets in the future. Personally, I kind of like having more assets available, especially ones that other people do not offer in the space. Now, here is basically, you know, a uh, breakdown how they are basically doing. There's also inbuilt token swap, which is kind of like becoming a bit of a norm uh, with these interest platforms and something that I very much prefer because once you have stable coins and like Ethereum and Bitcoin in the platform, um, there are going to be dips, there are going to be crashes, and you want to really leverage those moments that basically swap uh, assets between back and forth, whatever it's between two stable coins or a Bitcoin to Ethereum or Ethereum to Bitcoin, for instance. And there's also the fixed term loans. We're going to be touching those on the platform more. And here's some customer things. I would never really believe in these uh, things when people uh, give out quotes. It looks kind of more bad than, than good. And here's a bit of a breakdown of different things. Here is the uh, when the payments are done Monday, 5 p.m. GMT plus 8. That is the Singapore time, as uh, far as I know. And here are some other things. But let's actually now jump into the platform here and how does it look. So here we have the payment um, or the my account interface. Uh, currently, I have no funds in Huddlenaut as of right now. I just recently completed the, um, you know, KYC on the platform. Once again, should have probably mentioned that very early on because that's a lot of very key point for a lot of, uh, you know, investors out there. But the thing with C5 platforms is usually when you ask KYC, um, that brings a bit more assurances with the company. Are they registered? Are they doing legal things? And do they have insurances and check and all that stuff? So it's just the thing that you have to get used to if you want to operate with C5. If you don't like it, you can always go and opt in with DeFi. Now, um, here is the, and you can like basically uh, filter these things out in different uh, currencies. We got our uh, Singapore dollar, USD, Euro, British pound, and Australian dollar. And here's got a couple of charts here, which is pretty good. So I like also that there's like kind of key details here showing out the interests and 
APR and APY, because those are two different things, which a lot of people can um, mistake some, some of the time. Now there's the transactions tab, then there's the deposit withdrawal things. Um, there doesn't seem to be like, uh, like the network options and things like that. Uh, there are going to be fees on each of the coins. Let's see for DAI, it is 10 DAI. I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, Ethereum, I think that's like a $3 almost or something. And then there's USDT, $10 here. $10 here and wrap BTC is same fee as on the main Bitcoin network, which to me is a bit weird. Um, it could be a bit more competitive and better price. Now they do have an affiliate program, completely honest, you know, um, people can sign under me if they want to. It's not the most lucrative uh, form of um, affiliate program because it requires a single deposit of $1,000 uh, to get anything for you, which has to happen within a week once they're registered. So there's a lot of like nuances and uh, things that they have to met to make any money. So they're going to be giving $20. They are changing that into $30. And you're also getting 10% commission on that. So that's not like too bad, but the people may not necessarily first deposit $1,000. They might test it out or buy $100 or something like that. So this is not exactly the best, um, you know, affiliate program, but then again, it is a 10% commission that they're talking about here. And most of the other platforms just give you one, um, you know, payment and that's it. And they accrue everything else to themselves. Now there's the token swap, which we talked about where you can basically swap money between these assets. It's pretty cool. Good to have there. Not much to add. Now, one of the things that they are offering though is fixed deposits, which is kind of cool. So, um, by locking your money for a longer period, you will be getting a higher APR on the network. So let's say uh, 30 days would go for 3%, having it for uh, 90 days is gonna be 3.3% and 180 days is gonna be 3.55%. So for example, for um, USDC, it is 7.5% for 30 days, 8% uh, for 90 days and 8.25 for 180 days. So, they, they said 12.75%, so um, let's see, we're going to be holding 100 USD. Is this uh, accumulating the 13%? Um, they, because they advertise on the website 13.25%, um, 13, 13 so I think this might be top of it. Um, but I have to look on to this. But in terms of like their rates for Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're not too shabby. The stable coins are slightly underwhelming from what they should be even for the 180 days. We have so many that give above like just standard 8% to 12% on a lot of these platforms, um, depending on obviously certain things. But overall, like it is okay. It's not the best. It's not the worst that I've seen, but it's kind of, you know, they're in the middle. Now, there's also, um, you know, user settings and things like that you can do. Uh, KYC process was relatively fast. I have no, um, you know, complaints about that. Um, because they don't have their own token or anything, I, I do like the Bitcoin rate that they are currently offering. So if you're going to be locking your Bitcoin for, um, you know, to, to um, 180 days, I think this deal is not too bad. But I don't really have much else to add here for Hodlnot. It's not the best platform that I come across so far, but it's not the worst either. Uh, once again, this kind of goes down into which companies do you support? Do you have afraid of that um, America might legalize thing or two? So when you're looking at a company that is registered to Singapore, that also can be a uh, very, very good thing because I don't think Singapore is going to be changing their crypto laws as some other companies would be. So I don't know, it's kind of like in more safe waters. Um, I see Singapore really on board with crypto in a lot of ways. So I think that's a good thing. But um, thanks for watching as always. Subscribe, watch my other videos, and I will be seeing you next time, next video. Cheers.